I'm Aeon of End of Numbers and here on End of Story, I'm going to talk about whether smoking marijuana can cause lung cancer and how harmful it is to the lungs. People all over claim just because marijuana grows from the earth that it cannot harm the user as cigarette smoking does. Before I begin, I want to express I care about the facts. Whether anyone wants to smoke marijuana or not, it's up to them. The American Lung Association notes, marijuana contains four times more tar than tobacco. There are 33 cancer-causing chemicals in marijuana, which are the same chemicals found in cigarettes. Users of the drug tend to hold the smoke longer in their lungs, as opposed to cigarette smokers causing more tar buildup. Let's make one thing clear, smoke is harmful to lung health. Whether it's from burning wood, cigarettes, or marijuana, they still contain toxins and carcinogens. When burned, they are released from the combustion of the substance and into the lungs of the user. Some of the cancer-causing chemicals that marijuana and cigarettes share are carcinogens, tar, carbon monoxide, and cyanide. A known carcinogen, benzopyrene, seems to be greater in pot smoke than cigarette smoke. People who abuse marijuana for long periods of time develop chronic bronchitis and marijuana smoke has been shown to injure the cell linings of the large airways which explains chronic cough and excessive phlegm production in smokers. Smoking marijuana has also been known to cause air pockets in between both lungs and between the chest walls as well as large bubbles in the lungs among young to middle aged adults. Smoking marijuana can harm more than just the lungs and the respiratory system. It can also affect the immune system and the body's ability to fight diseases. Another potential threat to those having weakened immune systems is aspergillus, a mold that can cause lung disorder. It can grow on marijuana which then if smoked, exposing the lungs to the fungus. The task in 2005 research at the UCLA showed increased redness, swelling, and white blood cells in regular marijuana smokers. Furthermore, because marijuana smoke is very similar to cigarette smoke, it seemed quite likely that long-term use of the drug can and will have the same effects. If anyone is offended by this video, you need to go see a doctor. Have your head examined. It's better to admit to being a drug addict than to sit there and believe lies about marijuana, to justify abusing it or to spread false information about the drug. I completely understand some people use it for anxiety and people who have other types of cancers use it for their relief of pain and it helps a lot of them eat. This video is not about the legalization of marijuana, but if I were to be asked, legalize it. If alcohol is legal, then marijuana should be legal as well. I don't use either of them, therefore I don't have problems of abuse. Thank you for watching.